Hey, welcome to Top 8. We're on the draw against Rich Kelly, Learn to Love 6. So it turns out our breakers were even worse than I thought, and we ended up being in 6th um, place. So, not the best. Uh, so we would definitely not would have made it at X2. Uh, the one X2 to make it was Craighead, who started out 4-0, lost, and then won. So, Rich is most likely playing Grixis Delver. And I think that sounds probably fine. Run the draw. All right, I'm going to ponder. You could play Termon Claw here, but I don't think that's. Hmm. Maybe you should. Yeah, we're going to turn one into Claw. Flipped Revealing Brainstorm. So next turn we'll play Catacombs, we'll play Claw. If that resolves, we'll play Opal, Cast Ponder. We're looking for like a Lion's Eye Diamond and a Veil. That's pretty good. Just trying to make ourselves as uh, resilient to discard as possible. Rich's list does have three Thoughtseize in it. So Rich now knows that we have a brainstorm on top. And uh, no cigar. So Rich is down to three cards. Be interesting to see what this brainstorm finds. Up to four cards now. We should probably get a green duel with this. Um, I think I'm going to get Trop over Taiga because you already have a red here. Come on, like Ritual plus Veil. Not Ritual plus Veil. Okay, so we're going to put back these two and then we're going to fetch her Taiga probably and then cast Ponder. No luck. Well, there's Veil. Vale. So next turn we'll be going to... Eight. Yeah, I'm going to pass. We're probably a little too low to win with Ad Nauseam anyway, so it's fine. If this is a K command back by force, we're in trouble.
Okay, so no force. All right, so there's a dark ritual. Interesting. So now we can play Luris into another claw. And I'm going to pass. If we die to Mountain Bolt, Bolt, like, you got me. But I think it's better if we try to win with more mana uh, next turn. That's my opinion, at least. Show some patience. That wasteland doesn't really matter that much anymore. Interesting leaving Badlands up. Probably for Bolt. If I had a guess. Wow, Veil is a terrific draw. All right, so Storm's currently four. We'll draw a card off this. And I can't help but wonder if we're in the range for a natural tendrils. So let's say we play defense grid. This room six. Discard our hand using lines eye diamond. Replay diamond, that's from seven. Yeah, that should do it. even if that was a bolt. So now we just go burning wish into tendrils. So burning wish is storm eight, tendrils is storm nine and they're at 17. We exercised some patience and it really paid off that game. So we got game one against Grixis Delver. Wow. So Rich's latest list, like Daniel's, does not have a null rod in the sideboard. There is a pyrostatic pillar. Um, I don't know if that's still in there or not. I also don't know if I want to board in uh, Decay just for Pillar.
Hmm. I guess it doesn't hurt to board into decay, slow them down. Yeah, I'm gonna play a little cautiously. I'd rather not lose the pillar. Unfortunately, no lands. This seems fine. We're going to bottom a Pearl Mox. All right, so they know we have a Lion's Eye Diamond. Which was a very good draw, by the way. I think I'm gonna play it out. In theory, they could have something that blows it up, like a Goblin Crater Maker, which would not be very fortunate for us. But if we get Thought Seized, it's the card I want discarded the least. So, plus if they play Crater Maker here, we can decay it. Buy some time. No fear. So this says that Rich has at least one force, possibly two. We're going to brainstorm on the instep and hopefully look to win. We can't get Volk with this, so we'll get Trop. If this eats a daze, I think we're almost okay with that. Wow, Nauseam was a great draw. Um, so what can we do here? So I'm just trying to think out loud. If we don't keep LED, like let's say LED is the card we put on top. Uh, so that would be Badlands, right. So I think we actually can do it. Yeah, so we don't draw LED, that's the plan. We do not beat Double Force, though. So if there's a force here, we can use Wishclaw to go get Veil. Um, keep in mind, we also <laughs> boarded out four of our five artifacts, so this isn't a guaranteed win. We have four artifacts in the deck. Okay, that was a good one. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about flipping tendrils.
And then we just went and did it. God damn it. But we don't have enough storm count is the issue. Well, I guess it's effectively the same thing. I think we have to echo. <sighs> we would have two mana floating. That was bad. Maybe I should have stopped flipping. That might have cost us this match. You might be thinking, like, why not just, like, crack both and then uh, Burning Wish Tendrils? Uh, we're a mana short. We can't do that. So now we're praying that this is an insane echo and we could in theory here uh, play our Luris but if we like they're gonna have a claw they're just gonna bolt us anyway and it makes us slightly weaker at a graveyard hate so we're not going to do that come on this needs to be an insane echo for us to win and it was not I think I punted that game. I think I threw that game. <sighs> Shit. Okay. Actually, hold up. I want my artifacts back. If I lose the pillar, I lose the pillar. All right, we're on the play. This is a turn one defense grid. I think I'm just gonna play it a little bit safer though and ponder. Because I guess we can play the grid on turn two possibly with Veil backup. That was good. We don't have a red source for the burning wish or a green source for veil, but like that's a good enough ponder where we're going to keep that.
Hmm. I'm sort of wondering about playing Luris here. Maybe that's crazy, just playing it right into Daze. We'd also be putting ourselves down a card. We have a Brainstorm on top, so maybe it's okay to pitch Brainstorm. Uh, where's Goldfish? I want to see how many... Um, nah, that's fine. I think I'm going to play Lairs. If it eats a force, that's terrific. Days less so. Days is not as great. Sweet. I'm holding back the Lion's Eye Diamond so we don't lose to Engineering Explosives. If we get hit by a second discard spell, that's unfortunate, but... Oh, wow. Missed the land drop. Ooh, they drew Daze. Hmm. Ponder is nice, but not required, so I'm going to put that on top. We get to attack. That's crazy. They found land number two. This looks like a discard spell. Nope, okay. So they're at four cards. Hmm. That's not bad. So hypothetically, let's say we play, let's say, let's say we draw the Delta, hypothetically. We fetch, we cast Veil, this from two, this from three diamonds, from four Burning Wish, from five Tendrils. That's enough, we get an empty, but we also uh, could lose to an EE that I've been trying to play around. So, I think we're going to draw this Echo. All right, Echo, you failed me last game. Let's see what you got this time. Okay, this is gonna seem a little crazy. I don't want to fix our hand any more than it's already than it already is. So, I'm gonna brainstorm. Probably looking to put Anosium on top and then play Grid.
Okay, so... Let's say we put... Right of flame on the bottom, ad nauseum on top. Or we can put Burning Wish there. Because I, I need a card to imprint on Chrome Mox. It's also a lot of our zeros. Because ideally what I would do here is, I guess maybe I don't play all the zeros. Because that's another way of losing, is if uh, we get hit by an EE. -E. Okay. We'll do that. Okay, so we'll discard the claw. Start off on Veil, I suppose. Force pitch preordain. All right, so we lose the um, D's. Please don't daze me. Oh my, I can't believe that resolved. Uh, we already used the main deck echo, but I'm still going to stop there. And I didn't realize, but we're really low on time. And I don't feel like we've been playing incredibly slow either. We have four minutes. I don't need a rush. Grab the tendrils. All right, so that uh, puts us to six and one, and we're going to move on to top four.